going to open up Chrome and then inspect Element so I can get to the JavaScript console. Once there, I'm going to start out with an empty closure. Within the closure, I'm going to manipulate the page. I'm going to append to the document's body. And what I append is an element that I'm going to create on fly. Using the createElement method, I'm going to create an h1. And I'll set the inner HTML to hello world so I can see it in the page. That's fine, but what I really want to do is insert a script element. So I'm going to modify this a bit to make that happen. Script instead of h1, and source instead of inner HTML. The script that I want is in a public gist that I set up. I'm going to log in so I can go grab it. The script is from another demo that I did. It messes around with the Google home page and it'll make for a good bookmarklet. Ultimately, I want the URL to the script, but for now I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste this to try it out to remind myself what it does. I'll open up a new tab for that, inspect element, and open up the JS console. I'll go back to copy the URL and use that for the source attribute, and there it is in action. I'm going to turn this closure into my bookmarklet. It's going to use the JavaScript URL protocol, which looks like this. JavaScript colon, and then I'll paste the closure. The quickest way to do this is to start with an existing URL. Using a question mark or a pound sign, I can delimitate my JavaScript. Now this is going to be the URL that I'm going to bookmark. I'll give it a name so I can find it in my list of bookmarks. I'm also setting this bookmark to appear within my bookmark bar. After it's created, I'm going to go to my bookmark manager so I can change the position of it in the bar. Next, I'm going to right click on it so I can edit the URL. I'm going to remove everything before and including the question mark. Click it and it works. Next is the method that I use to distribute the bookmarklet. It's easy, but I want to make it clear for whoever's going to use it. It's three steps that I'm going to outline, and I'll either post this to a web page or I'll send it in an email. Here, I'm going to show what it would look like if it were just an HTML page. It's an ordered list of three steps. The first step is the instruction for clicking on the link. The root URL you use, it really doesn't matter. Here, I'm going to use Apple, and instead of a question mark, I'm going to use a pound sign. I'm going to copy and paste the URL, and because I have nested single quotes, I'm going to escape the ones that I need to, and I'll click it to verify that it works. The next instruction is to just simply bookmark the page. And the last instruction is for editing the URL to remove everything before and including the pound sign. And for good measure, I'll go ahead and try it out and make sure it works.